YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Got another product review today. Uh, we're gonna be reviewing the Adams wheel and tire cleaner. I've seen a lot of, uh, not a lot, I've seen a few videos about this. Um, they seem pretty good. Uh, most of the people are just spraying on out of a bottle. I've got a foamer that I'm gonna be using. Uh, so we'll see how it works undiluted in a foamer. Uh, so we'll look at the instructions. Clean one wheel and tire at a time. Rinse wheels and tires thoroughly with a strong blast from the hose. Spray the sidewall and wheel surfaces liberally with Adam's all-in-one wheel and tire cleaner. Scrub sidewall with Adam's tire brush and wheel surfaces with Adam's blah blah blah. Do not allow product to dry on the surface of the wheel. Rinse thoroughly with a strong blast from the hose. Allow to air dry or dry with Adam's air cannon. Um, I don't have all the different various Adam's tools, so... <laughs> Gotta love marketing though, so we're gonna start. Uh, we'll follow the instructions, blast it with a strong stream of water. Now I'm testing this out, the wheel itself isn't dirty, this is a spare, because we got a flat. Um, I mean, it's you can see it's got a little bit of dirt on it. Um, this is more a test of how it is as a tire cleaner. Because I mean, I can get wheels clean no matter what. Um, you can get tires clean too. So first I'm going to spray it on, let it sit, and uh, we will see how it does just a spray and rinse application, and then I will scrub. So here goes. See almost immediately it's taking all that nasty browning out. Uh, this stuff's got a pretty strong smell. It's pumping it so it's ready to go. Uh, it's got a pretty strong smell. I mean it smells like any other wheel and tire cleaner out there. Uh, so I mean yeah look it's, it's, it turns brown immediately. Um, and I've got another video of the Turtle Wax and Meguiar's Hot Rims cleaner on the channel. Um, they do the same thing. This just seems like it's a, a bit stronger than those ones. Uh, it's definitely got a slightly more pungent smell to it. So now that it's uh, had a few a little bit to work, let's go ahead and rinse it off. Oh, nasty. That is good. And I'm using it full strength. You can dilute it if you want to. I don't like to dilute real cleaner products. Just use them as they are. It's not too expensive anyway to hold down. Alright, so. Tire's still dirty after that, as I expected it to be. Um, and I wouldn't really know how it looks until it's dry, but the wheel surface, that's ah, pretty, it's still a little bit dirty too. So, we'll uh, give it a second round. And we'll scrub this time, we'll agitate with wheel brush. I mean, you can honestly probably get better foam out of this if you did cut it with water. It's all good. You can see most of it, it's not turning as brown as it did before, um, so it's doing a pretty good job. Uh, it did a good job on its own, so first we will agitate with a wheel brush and get it wet. It's just a cheap wheel brush we got from Walmart. You use it on these type of wheels, because um, I mean, I'm not too worried about the finish of them. It's a factory finish. Factory finish is pretty durable. Lip. And I love nuts. I mean, that's just light agitation. Alright, and then we'll get the tire brush and we got a rinse too. Mm -hmm. Scrub these tires nice and good. Oh, 
you can see all the nastiness coming out. Also, I don't know if you noticed, there were some numbers here, here that were looked like some sort of grease pen or something drawn on it. Oh, they're gone. Now. second to work a little bit more. And then we will rinse this off. This stuff leaves a lot of residue behind full strength. You gotta make, really make sure you rinse it good. Normally I use a pressure washer. Um, so I didn't feel like getting out all that. I just threw a cold bit, so not a big deal. soap out the wheel cleaner um, but there we go uh, let's see my fingers are all clean fingers are still clean still clean so stuff works pretty good still clean <laughs> uh, so I'm happy with it I'll probably buy it again uh, this seems like definitely one of the stronger wheel cleaners that I've used um, it's safe on all finishes I believe uh, the only finish I wouldn't use it on is bare, uh, raw aluminum. Use a specialized aluminum wheel cleaner for those because those are susceptible to like every chemical out there. But if you got painted factory finish wheels, um, aftermarket painted wheels, whatever, this will be good on there. Uh, like I said, just don't let it dry on. Um, or if you just want to use it as a dedicated tire cleaner uh, instead of using a strong degreaser, which I mean I like to use degreasers as tire cleaners, but you know whatever, whatever you want to do. Um, stuff works pretty good so uh, as always if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up I appreciate it uh, leave a comment below I like to communicate with everyone as best as I can and uh, subscribe to the channel for more content thanks for watching